Okay, so if you have something like this, a mini PC, this is the uh, old Mede Quieter 2Q uh, that you use to control your astrophotography rig, like the one that I have uh, behind me, well, very often you realize that either you need more USB ports or, uh, and actually that's probably more frequent, you need more power outputs because this thing does not have any power output. It has only a 12 volt power input. And so you'd be using like, if you're like me and you're lazy and you don't know what you're doing, uh, you'd be using like something like uh, DC splitters, which have their limitations. Sometimes they stop working. I don't know why, probably something to do with like current, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then if you needed more USB ports, you'd be using something like a USB hub or even better, a powered USB hub. And then it would kind of all work together if you're lucky. That's kind of like the, uh, the lazy porn person's kind of solution to using a mini PC like this. Of course, there's other alternatives. You could use an ASI Air, but then you are restricting yourself in terms of the hardware that you can use with your control center and also with the software as well. Or you could use something like the uh, Gaius S2 PC that I've shown on the channel before that has its own controllable power outputs and tons of USB ports. And there's other solutions like StellarMate Pro. Or you could be using this mini PC, the Mali, uh, the, let's say the Mille Quieter 4C, which is what I'm using on, on the rig behind me. And you could use it together with a Pegasus Astro Power Box, for instance, that, ha that gives you like an ASCOM controllable uh, USB hub and then power outputs and U heater control and all of that good stuff. But that thing is really expensive. So that's where this comes in. This is a tiny little uh, box by SV Boni. It's called the SV241. And for once, it's not going to break the bank too much. The price of that is 79 US dollars uh, by default. And some, very often I see it on sale at 59 US dollars. So very, are relatively speaking, affordable. And I think that these days, as I'm filming this, the, uh, chi the tariffs on China are down again. So even if you're like in the US, it's probably not going to break the bank uh, too much. And what this gives you is something that uh, basically you have on one side an input for power, 12 volt DC in, and you have an input for a USB 3 cable that's also provided in the box. The box also provides, by the way, like some male to male uh, DC cable, only one. And also it provides one SIGGER uh, plug to DC, DC cable. This cable is kind of like basically meant to be the input to everything. While uh, that cable here, you can use it with one of the four DC outputs that you have here. And then, you know, control, like connect your camera, your PC, whatever on the, uh, on the other side of it. So you have that, those two inputs. So USB-C for the uh, USB-3 for the USB hub. And then you have the DC 12 volt in for the uh, 12 volt DC. And then you have the four outputs that uh, give you up to uh, 12 volt 10 amps, which is more than enough for, for pretty much any rig. And for me, it's been working very, very well. And none of that is actually controllable via ASCOM or anything like that. It's just there, uncontrollable, and that's why it's really so cheap in such a tiny box. If we keep lo looking, on the other side, we actually have two more DC outputs. So again, the total of the DC outputs should be 12 volt 10 amps. And you also have uh, two USB outputs that are not for data, but they're for power, for five volt power. So you can use something like this uh, five volt USB uh, dew heater, which can be good for smaller telescopes, for uh, guide scopes or for camera lenses as well, right? So you can use those uh, to, um, to power your dew heater and it's working quite well. And I think it's up to five volt, eight amps in terms of the output on those uh, USB hubs. And then on the other side, you have the USB outputs for data this time, where you have one USB 2, two USB 3.1, and one USB type C, I believe is also in the background USB 3.1. So you can see that this thing, even though it is, you cannot turn on and off the power outputs. You cannot change like the uh, output of these to say like, okay, just 50% of power output so that my dew heater works like this or that. You cannot do any of that on this. It's like a purely non-controllable kind of hub for both USB and power, but at the cost of what, 80 bucks or 60 bucks when it's on sale, well, it's 
not a big problem in my opinion. I mean, that's a pretty good value. On the uh, back, you have also a one fourth uh, inch um, screw hole here, as well as two tiny screws on the side, which I think should be usable to put something like a finder shoe on that. And actually that's like my main kind of like drawback that I found with uh, this product is that it would be really nice if it came with a finder shoe so that you could just like plop in into uh, one of the, the finder brackets that I have here on the side of the telescope without having to like, you know, play around to make sure that it fits. Like it would be nice to have in the box or at least as an option, some mounting hardware for that thing, but it's not available uh, at this stage. Still, it's like pretty good value. Let me quickly show you how it looks like when we uh, install it. So here it is how it looks like on my rig. So I have this little black box here is the Milliquiter 4C. And I didn't need an, any actual uh, USB ports in this particular config. Of course, I've or, also already tested it with the USB uh, hub, but you can see that this is empty because I'm not using it with this particular setup. But you know, it works as a USB hub, no problem, just FYI. And the power input is actually coming from the mount itself. So uh, this mount has this power output on it. So I'm using that, the cable, is going all the way here and that's my power input. And then I'm using just a few of the outputs in this particular setup where I have one cable that goes here to the camera. And then we have this cable here that just powers the mini PC. I got this cable off of Amazon a few years ago. I have no idea uh, how to find it again, but it all works. But you can see we also have one more connection which is just on one of the USB 5 volt outputs here I just have it connected to this particular dew heater here, which is warm to the touch. So it's like kind of always on, which means that when I'm not imaging, I'm actually disconnecting it to make sure that we don't have like this useless uh, consumption of power. But overall, it all works like that. No issues whatsoever. Uh, the PC is actually already on. And really the only drawback that I see with this is that I'm using uh, a Velcro type of uh, system to, uh, <laughs> to have the mini PC and this thing like attached to the telescope. It's just by, by pure friction, nothing more. And it would be really nice if we had some mounting hardware with it or if as you've been like, you know, sold as option the mounting hardware, that way I would have it, you know, on this uh, little finder shoe and then the PC uh, well, I would need its own mounting hardware or use that anyway, but you can see that it just works. It's there and I don't see really any, uh, any issues with it. So this little power thing is really quintessential SV money. It's like simple, cheap, and to the point, uh, basically. So the USB hub, it works. The uh, 12 volt outputs, they work. The five volt USB formatted outputs, they work. They work for the little dew heater that I have on the, uh, on the guide scope here. And it comes with just like the basics. The, the cardboard box is super basic. It came with uh, this uh, cable, that cable, the USB 3 cable, uh, which I, I don't remember which one it was, so I, I'm not showing you, and then a manual. And that's all, nothing more, uh, nothing less. And it just, it's there, it works. And honestly, it kind of like solves an issue that I had with my setups in that I was actually quite a lot of time using those uh, the splitters uh, there. I got a bit better with this particular mount because it has two um, DC 12 volt outputs. So it can help with like the PC and the camera and it kind of works, uh, but it's still much better to have like a single box to, uh, to aggregate everything together. Uh, it will also solve a problem with the Milliquiter 4C because that one has, you know, one USB-C and three normal, normal USB uh, ports. And so that meant that I often had to use uh, USB-C to USB-A adapter. It was a bit dirty and I didn't like that. So uh, with that box there, it's fixed. I don't need to worry about that anymore. So that's really nice. I would say, again, the drawbacks are with the uh, mounting hardware. Uh, I would also like to see more cables like these. Uh, I already have a lot of those DC mail to mail uh, kind of cables, uh, but you know, most um, sellers of such equipment provide a bit more cables there. But again, it's cheap to the point, quintessential SV Boni. So it, it is what it is, I think. And there is one more thing that is missing, which is, you know, ASCOM control. Uh, it would be nice if I could, from the PC, actually control that box and turn on and off the power ports. Uh, including the USB ports, that way I know when my dew heater is on or not. And uh, if I could also have some um, 
uh, like where power ports where you can control the actual power on the power port so that dew heaters can be there and then something like a, a temperature and humidity sensor then we get like the the best thing ever but that's not going to be 80 dollars i completely understand that and actually it seems that sv boni is planning on releasing something like that in the uh, relatively near term so in the next few months so um, if this SV241 for 80 bucks or 60 bucks when it's on sale sounds interesting to you, uh, yeah, you can get it. I'll have the link down in the uh, description. But otherwise, there's also another strategy, which could be to wait for SV Boni to release the like ASCOM controlled uh, version of that SV241. Although I don't know when that's going to be and I don't know what price it will be at. Overall, straight and to the point, it works. It does exactly what it's meant to do. And it's been helping me with uh, my setup. So uh, yeah, thumbs up uh, from me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear what, you're, you know, what you think about this SV241, whether you'd want to get it, you have other alternatives at the same price or even cheaper, or you really want like Pegasus Astro uh, type of stuff. Just let us know. It will be super interesting to see. And while you're there, you can like the video. It really helps the channel out. You can also subscribe if you're new to the channel, in which case, welcome. And if you want to uh, sponsor my work directly and make all of this possible, you can become one of the channel sponsors by becoming a member. That's the join button next to the subscribe button. Or you can become a Patreon supporter. The link is down in the description. Some of my Patreons have access to my videos early and without ads. And as always, you guys, channel members, Patreon supporters, and all of my viewers, you make this channel possible. Thank you so much for your support. Anyway, with that, more important than any of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars, and I'll see you next time.